Apple closes all its stores. Let's have a look. Good evening, everyone. Florian Heiser here, and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my evening stein of coffee, and I thought we'd look at this breaking news, which, well, it's going to cost Apple a lot of money. They're closing all their stores around the world, all of those outside Greater China, for two weeks to address the illness that is turning into a pandemic. So Apple closes all stores across the world outside of China due to the global illness. The tech giant, which has hundreds of shops worldwide, will shut the outlets for two weeks. Apple is closing all its stores across the world outside of China for the next two weeks to combat the illness. The technology giant, which has hundreds of shops worldwide, including dozens in the UK and 22 in Australia, announced it was shutting outlets to minimize the risk of the transmission. As the virus engulfs the world, the firm's chief executive, Tim Cook, confirmed the closures, adding, we must all do all we can to prevent the spread. Apple stores in Greater China, where the illness originated, reopened on Saturday and will be exempt from the shutdown as new cases in the country are slowing. It comes after Apple already shifted its appearance at the Worldwide Developer Conference in California in June to an online format instead of several days of public gathering. Now, here we, here we go, guys. Even if... Even if everything's contained, everything's managed, and it all returns to normal within several months. The fallout for all of this is going to be, it's going to affect the world's economy for some time. Cook tweeted, in our workplaces and communities, we must do all we can to prevent the spread. Apple will be temporarily closing all stores outside of Greater China until the 27th of March and committing 15 million to help with worldwide recovery. In a statement, the company added, as rates of new infections continue to grow in other places, we're taking additional steps to protect our team members and customers. We will be closing all of our retail stores outside of Greater China until 27th of March. We are committed to providing exceptional service to our customers. In all of our offices, we are moving to flexible work arrangements worldwide. That means team members should work remotely if their job allows, and those whose work requires them to be on-site should follow guidance to maximize interpersonal space. Extensive deep cleaning will continue at all sites. In all our offices, we are rolling out new health screening and temperature checks. All of our hourly workers will continue to receive payment in alignment with business as usual operations. We've expanded our leave policies to accommodate personal or family health circumstances created by the illness, including recovering from an illness, caring for sick loved ones, mandatory quarantining, or childcare challenges due to school closures. So there you have it, guys. This is from The Guardian. And let's have a look. Let's have a look at what, well, at Apple's statement. To the worldwide Apple family. Because this is not just Apple here. And you can see, guys, this is a business that's doing this of its own initiative that doesn't need the state forcing them to do it i mean apple have very deep products because they sell well-designed beautifully looking average products <laughs> but there you go the global spread is affecting every one of us at apple we are people first and we do what we do with the belief that technology can change lives and the hope that it can be a valuable tool in a moment like this Teachers are innova innovating to make remote lessons come alive. Companies are experimenting with new ways to stay productive. And medical experts can diagnose illness and reach millions with critical updates in the blink of an eye. We are all adapting and responding in our own ways. And Apple wants to continue to play a role in helping individuals and communities emerge stronger. I mean, there's some good points there. You know, there, there, there will be positives out of this. People will have to adapt and change. I wonder if, you know, schools close and more people are learning from home or learning remotely, if they might consider making it a permanent switch. That'll be interesting to see if after all of this dies down, if you have more people going into homeschooling, thinking, you know what, I learned more doing it by myself, 
using online resources. Why am I wasting all that time there? I wonder how many students may go, okay, I'll start a business or how many people if they have to, or they choose to self-isolate, if they spend time developing a new skill or if they spend time starting a business they want to start, if something good can come out of this, that will be, that'll be interesting to see. Or if people will just sit at home and play computer games and drink beer. I mean, there hasn't been a run on alcohol in Australia, which, which seems odd. You know, you have to spend weeks with your family stuck at home. <laughs> you think you'd get a couple of cartons. But this global effort to protect the most vulnerable, to study this illness and to, to care for the sick requires all of our care and all of our participation. And I want to update you about the ways in which we are doing our part. They're giving back. Apple's committed donations to the global response, both to help treat those who are sick and help lessen the economic and community impacts of the pandemic today reached 15 million worldwide. For the size of Apple, 15 million ain't that impressive to be honest, that doesn't really impress me. We've announced that we are matching our employee donations two to one to support the response locally, nationally and internationally in our offices and stores. First, I want to recognize Apple's family in Greater China. Though the rate of infections has dramatically declined, we know the effects are still being strongly felt. I want to express my deep gratitude to our team in China for the ter determination and spirit. As of today, all of our stores in Greater China have reopened. I also want to thank our operations team and partners for their remarkable efforts to restore our supply chain. What we've learned today has helped us to all deliver the best practices that are assisting enormously in our global response. One of those lessons is that the most effective way to minimize risk of the transmission is to reduce density and maximize social distance. As rates of new infections continue to grow in other places, we're taking additional steps to protect our team members and customers. We will be closing all of our retail stores outside of Greater China until March 27th. We are committed to providing exceptional service to our customers our online stores are open at apple.com or you can download the Apple Store app on the App Store. For service and support, customers can visit support.apple.com. I want to thank our extraordinary retail team for their dedication in enriching our customers' lives. We are all so grateful to you. In all of our offices, we are moving to flexible work arrangements worldwide outside of Greater China. This means team members should work remotely if their job allows and those whose work requires them to be on site should follow guidance to maximize interpersonal space. Extensive deep cleaning will continue at sites. In all our offices, we are rolling out new health screening and temperature checks. All of our hourly workers will continue to receive payment in alignment with business as usual operations. I mean, there you go. Think about this. Think about the goodwill they're gonna get from two weeks of pay. How much is that worth? How much is that worth? Do you think a lot of people will ignore the right to repair issues with Apple and some of the tricks they play because of a gesture like this? What do you think, guys? Let me know your opinions in the comments. You know, I, I, I think it's a smart move. It's a very smart move. We've expanded our leave policies. Well, see, here you go. Here's the difference between a government and a business. They have money to pay for this. A lot of governments don't. They have to magic the money out of thin air. We, expand, we have expanded our leave policy to accommodate personnel or family health circumstances created by the illness, including recovery, caring for sick loved ones, quarantine or child care challenges due to school closures. For our users and partners, we know our users depend on Apple products all the time, and especially in times like these. We're bringing the same creative and creativity and passion to meeting this challenge as we do everything else we undertake. I, I've been watching too many videos about just how terrible Apple products are to repair and all the faults and dodginess in them. So, but then again, they're easy to use. My mother can use her Apple products without a problem. So that's the benefit of it. You've got people who don't know anything about computers using computers. Apple News has launched a new section where users can be sure they find the latest verified reporting from trusted news outlets. As you may have seen, our annual Worldwide Developer Conference will be in an entirely new online format this year. We see this as an opportunity to bring together developers around the world in an innovative way. Looking ahead, there is no mistaking the challenge of this moment. The entire Apple family is indebted to the heroic first responders, 
doctors, nurses, researchers, public health experts, and public servants globally who have given every ounce of their spirit to help the world meet this moment. We do not yet know with certainty when the greatest risk will be behind us. And yet, I have been inspired by the humanity and determination I've seen from all corners of the globe. Do you think he's been inspired by the people punching up for toilet rolls in Australia? <laughs> oh, Aussie, 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 eh? As President Lincoln said, in a time of great adversity, the occasion is piled high with difficulty and we must rise with the occasion. As our case is new, so we must think anew and act anew. There's all, that's always how Apple has chosen to meet big challenges and it's how we'll rise to meet this one too. And this is from Tim, the CEO of Apple. So there we go, guys. Apple shutting all of their stores outside of China for two weeks. What do you think? Do you think this will make a difference? I mean, out there, popular products, lots of people go there. Lots of, I dare say, elderly computer people would use Apple products. I know lots of grandparents use it. And the goodwill that they're purchasing with this. Seems like a smart business move, actually. And I wonder who else will follow. I've just received an email about Target as well, essentially telling customers to stay away if they're ill. It's definitely going to be an interesting time. Apple can afford to do this. Can other businesses? Can small businesses? Can governments? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan, there's a few ways you can help. You can help share the content and grow the channel. It's my 39th birthday tomorrow, and it'd be nice if we could you know, break that 11,500 number tomorrow. We're pretty close. And I'll share with you in the community feed what my family got for me as a present. You'll love it. We also have other ways you can support us financially. We have Patreon and YouTube, where you can join the channel or join Patreon for a small monthly fee. We have affiliate links with Amazon and eBay for your consumer purchases and independent reserve and KuCoin for the crypto traders out there. We also have the merchandise that you can purchase from the Heisenstein website or from the Teespring link below. And finally, PayPal if you want to contribute that way. Every little bit helps, guys. Take care, have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.